Hey guys, it's Denise here, NOLA Collectibles. Welcome to my channel. I'm here today to do a thread up DIY unboxing. I haven't done one of these in a little bit. Um, I actually had purchased this one back in October, so last month, and had saved it to do the unboxing with. And so I'm super, super excited. These guys were $38 available on the thread up rescue site and they give you five pounds it was a five pound diy jewelry bag so anyway if you're new here welcome my name is denise i do jewelry unbaggings and unboxings thread up goodwill shop goodwill goodwill blue box estate sale hauls thrift store hauls all jewelry related content i am a jewelry lover collector and a part-time reseller i sell on ebay my Store name there is NOLA Collectibles. And so, yeah, let's get right into it. That's the long and short end of it, folks. And so, like I said, really excited because I had saved this dude for a long time. Stash. And so let's see, this is in a giant Ziploc bag and it's looking like this. So, yeah, we're gonna get right into it. Put that box aside because no doubt, a cat will be in there momentarily, I assume. I can only assume. So let's get right into this. I think maybe we're gonna do this. <laughs> I think we're gonna, we're gonna do it. I have all of my tools here as per usual, my jeweler's loop, my magnet, scissors, just in case we come across some tangles, which we always do. And so yeah, this is what it's kind of like looking like, a big old pile of jewelry, very exciting. And so I'm going to push this all over here so that we're not too totally out of focus and whatnot. And we're not competing with noise, but you all can still kind of see what we got going on. And so, yeah. And so, oh, real quick. Um, today I have on a uh, vintage mixed metal onyx ring there, kind of modernist looking there. And I've, part, uh, I've put it together with this J. Crew chevron rhinestone bracelet, which I think they kind of go well together, just given the two-tone kind of coloration of the ring. Um, I have both of these items for sale in my store, NOLA Collectibles on eBay. Just wanted to mention that. So I'm going to go right here. And it looks like here we just have a statement D necklace and this one with purple and magenta colored rhinestones. Straighten this dude out. That guy's looking like that. And this one is J. Crew. So while I like kind of like do like the look of it, this is looking like it's got a lot of wear, like right around the chain and whatnot, but it is a nice looking necklace. So we have that first one out of the bag. I'm gonna go right here on top. No, you know it because it's tangled. Let's go here. This is looking like a multi-strand bracelet, gold tone, with lots of chain link detail and a kind of irregular um these types of pearls baroque pearls irregular pearls and just lots of chains here a little like turquoise dangles this is very cute actually very nice condition i'm not seeing any kind of like maker's mark on it off the bat but that's actually a pretty decent and cute looking little bracelet and that's in good condition no real wear kind of going on there i like the big open links and there's some variations there with even larger links so that's very cute i think this would probably look really nice on let's see let's just go right over that not bad that is it is cute you know and it looks like it would be comfortable to wear so that's not bad it's a cute little bracelet I'm going to go over here because this one came pouring out and this one is looking like just like a gold tone. It's focus. Gold tone kind of statementy looking ring, all gold and it's kind of got this faceted, which should also have been a uh, single color of gold there. Let me look at this real quick. It's kind of giving me like Kate Spade vibes a little. Oh, and this, there was a 925 in there. So this is sterling and so... It's kind of interesting yeah not magnetic so we do have a, a nine marked 925 kind of gold colored fashion ring there sterling silver with this a faceted kind of gold stone right in the middle I don't think this is any kind of natural stone I think it's just meant to be kind of like that monochromatic like gold look modern look so we have that not bad sterling silver Okay, okay. I'm gonna go here because it's another ring. This is just like a little fashion ring with rhinestones in blue and pewter kind of colored finished there. I'm not seeing any maker's marks on that. So we just have a little fashion ring. Let me go here because this is, oh, okay. Yeah, all right, this kind of came out okay. 
I'm gonna go right here. This is kind of cool. This is looking very J. Crew-ish to me. Yes, you see the oversized toggle, and there's the J. Crew tag. This is cool. I like this actually a lot. It's got this enameled yellow, big open, like you know, almost like a nautical chain uh, look to it. And then it's got rhinestones on top of that on each of the links, which I think is pretty fabulous. I remember seeing these also in like navy colored, but I like actually like this a whole lot. I think that's really sharp looking. It feels very heavy and, you know, kind of like J. Crew well made. This is cool. I like it. I think this is really nice. And I think that would look really fabulous. Just probably pair this with fall colors would probably look fabulous. Navy would look fabulous with this. Um, I think it's a nice looking necklace. I like it. It's in good condition. Very, very nice. That's a nice J. Crew piece. Happy with that. Yes. Okay. So I see where we're going here. Found a couple of J. Crew pieces. Maybe that'll continue. I see also some dirty tassels. <laughs> so we have this guy right here. This is not totally, totally bad. This one is, what is this brand? This is mm, Ann Taylor. Oh my God, I'm like reading it backwards. I'm like, what does it say? It says Ann Taylor. <laughs> it's Ann Taylor brand. So, okay, so this is not bad. So I said this tassel he's not in the most terrible condition you can see I kind of smoothed him out um feel like sometimes I'm dealing with cousin it you just got to like smooth it down and whatnot um not bad we look like it's looking like we have some natural stone elements here and these are plastic some plastic kind of faceted brown and you know this is nice again nice for fall silver tone metal not bad and so we have Ann Taylor there just a, a little natural stone kind of statement detassel necklace with brown tones golden tones and silver metal not bad okay keep things moving folks i have here a very stretched out bracelet this dude has definitely seen better days definitely the diy of the diy portion of the evening let's see what else we got here i have this necklace here this one's looking like possibly homemade I don't know it's got ceramic beading on it and we have some natural stone components as well um, shades kind of like of black and gray we are looking magnetic on that um, wasn't sure if maybe this lobster claw class was sterling or not but I don't think that it is and we have like Dalmatian Jasper yeah some little Dal Dalmatian Jasper chippies I will come in a little closer here and show you Kind of like all of the elements there so kind of a mixed stone and ceramic bead uh, necklace right there possibly homemade but very nice looking not bad at all um, we'll go here this is not tangled but does have some stuff on it I have here a pretty fabulous gold tone, super sparkly pave rhinestone. Again, that's open chain link, and we're looking at another J. Crew piece right here. And so this is pretty nice, uh, really pretty, just gorgeous kind of like pave crystal rhinestones, just covered. Um, very glamorous, nice, nice for the holidays. Hey, listen, if you're all even just going into your parents' like living room. <laughs> Why not jazz it up a little bit, I say. Um, you know, it's so funny because my mom always, my parents always made us dress up for the holidays. So <laughs> oftentimes we would be sitting in our living room, but we would be very fancied up. Um, so yeah, <laughs> why not though? You know, it's been, it's been a year, so why not make ourselves feel good? That's what I'm saying. Um, so I do like this. I think this is a beautiful bracelet. This was probably really expensive when it was new. Probably like, I would say probably like $100 or so. J. Crew Jewelry was really expensive. Um, and so that's beautiful. I really love this bracelet. Very happy with that. Okay. Mo more and more J. Crew. I am okay with that. Let's see here. I see some earrings on card here. Um, that's looking kind of like that. And we are looking at Target. Okay. So just some kind of stud earrings there, missing a few here and there. And, and this was a, just a set that came from Target, originally $12.99. Have another kind of like tassel necklace here with faceted. This has this goldeny, mustardy colored tassel there. And uh, these do look like faceted crystals possibly. And it is hand knotted. 
I feel like I have seen this style quite a bit with the Buddha head on it. And yeah, uh, I don't know if I love this tassel, but these crystals are actually pretty nice. And I do like the way that they're knotted in between. And so, see there, they're very sparkly. Super, super faceted. So we have that necklace here, another tassel necklace. Uh, I feel like we might as well complete the tassel trifecta here. I don't know if there's there's going to be more, but we've had quite a bit of tassels. So here's another tassel. Um, this one is looking like sodalite, blue and white colored rounds with gold beaded detail in between. Sodalite, very pretty. Kind of looks like, you know, denim to me. And so that's not a bad looking necklace either. And that's got a little bitty tassel on it, so it's not such a huge tassel. It's pretty. This is like a pretty layering piece. And I think if you're into natural stones, this one's very nice because it's 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 pretty long. So that's not, that's nice. Not bad. I like sodalite. What else? I have this gold tone necklace here. It has a little leaf pendant, a couple of little leaves on it crystals, a key, and I'm not seeing any kind of maker on this guy, but that one's like looking like that. So just like kind of like a little costume long necklace here with leaves and a crystal. It's got a bit of wear to it. Now we, here we have one of these like shell stretchies. I'm not sure if this is a necklace or if this should be like maybe a bracelet, a double bracelet. Is looking like that. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. We'll just, just can try to disconnect here. What is going on here? Let me see. Let me see if I can solve this issue. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. It was a very chill event in my part. Um, filled with lots of good food, which is always nice. And so here is just a multi-strand beaded necklace in a coral color and, you know, looking kind of like that. Not seeing any maker or tag on there, but that guy's in there, big boy. I'm gonna go over here. There's like a little bangle bracelet here. This is really pretty. Okay, and I can see right away it's got the Sea Wonder um, logo on the inside there. And so this is just a gold tone and orange enamel, kind of you know in the style of almost like Hermes, uh, but made by Sea Wonder. Sea Wonder, Tory Burch's ex-husband. Uh, you know, Tory Burch's husband, Chris Burch, had helped fund Tory Burch, and then when they went through their rather messy divorce, uh, there was a war going going through with them over who would take control over the Tory Burch fashion line and ultimately Tory retained control over her line but Chris went and formed his own fashion line which looked P.S. exactly like Tory Burch but at a more affordable price points so uh it's no longer in existence it actually went out of business and so but I did I do think a lot of what they created was very cute you can kind of see it's got like a little knot design there right in the middle and so yeah a little piece of sea wonder bracelet there that's very nice And here I just have a Shambhala style rhinestone beaded bracelet here with kind of crystals. And that guy's looking like that. Ooh, some bonus hair. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> here we have like kind of like a mixed media, media type of natural stone, possibly some carved bone, all kinds of different beads, got some little woven bits in here. And this guy is like looking like that. This one to me is, um, is looking kind of homemade. I can see that there's all those crimp beads right there. So kind of a natural stone aesthetic style necklace there, homemade with all different kinds of beads and whatnot. Here we have a um, very, very variated variations of, <laughs> yeah, can speak 
clearly today. Lots of different kinds of pearls and different sizes. And this guy is another little J. Crew piece. So this is actually very cute. Nice and long. Um, great for layering up. Again, nice for like holiday wear. It's got this kind of taupey looking faux pearls there. And this is in very, very good condition. So nice little um, J. Crew necklace there. So lots of J. Crew in this bag for sure. And I think that's great. I am not mad at that at all. J. Crew, you know, doesn't sell like it used to sell when it was like super big during its heyday, but it's still good quality jewelry and it, it sells. It just takes maybe like a little longer to sell and it's slightly lo lower price points than how it previously so sold. Um, so here we just have a really cute Juicy Couture little bracelet here and it says, you know, it's got the Juicy and it has the crown logo right there. I think this is really, really sweet, <laughs> similar to J. Crew. Um, you know, Juicy definitely had its heyday and that heyday is, is kind of past a little bit, but I think the brand, you know, it's having a resurgence and so now it's almost become one of these like nostalgic early 2000 brands. This is brands that were really big in the early 2000s and kids are seeking it out the kids you know what I mean make us feel old <laughs> so this also looks like J Crew, but it's missing the tag and but this is really cool it's this like super heavy just rhinestone crystal encrusted necklace here really heavy and well made and this is like very nice very nice a little bit of kind of like that industrial look to it it's like it's hard and soft or glamorous and industrial something like that it's mixed you know what i'm saying um so if you're like kind of like a tough gal but you still want to look a little glam this is the necklace for you um i like it i think it's a really pretty necklace like i said definitely looks like j crew but this one does not have the tag so uh we have that guy as well cool i'm gonna go right here this is looking almost like a chain mail um, yep, necklace with rhinestones throughout, and this is just a really long necklace here. Very, very cool. And this one is also, I think, J. Crew. So yeah, this is cool. Um, I have to tell you, the chain, chain mail sells really well for me. There's a, definitely a market out there of, of people who are looking for chain mail items. And I've actually sold quite a bit of J. Crew chain mail. They've had this collection, I don't know when it came out, but uh, they had like these drapey necklaces, um, all kinds of different styles that were made in the chain mail. And every time I sell them, literally they sell in like two or three days, like really, really quick. So there is, you know, a group of people that are um, looking for this style and I do think it's very neat. So yeah, this is great. I think this will definitely sell. I like this J. Crew necklace a whole lot. Very nice. I like that it's long too. That's different. Awesome. Rocking and rolling here, you guys. Let's see what else we got. Very nice. I'm very pleased with this bag so far. I think there's lots of good stuff in here. Not too much junk. Um, I have gotten, you know, a couple of good thread up boxes previously, so... Maybe this was um, part of that kind of grouping. I wonder where this one came from. Let me see. Let's see. Georgia. It came from Duluth, Georgia. So the warehouse in Georgia. Um, this is looking like, again, kind of like a big, fresh. This does look like um, legit legitimate pearls. They're really nice. Again, that Baroque kind of freeform style pearl. These are really nice pearls. They're very large. And it does look like this is possibly on um, sterling silver. Or maybe not. It fooled me because it's got this little hang tag here with this heart, which I have seen in the past. It sometimes will say 925 on it. Um, but it's kind of on this like crocheted looking fabric. But I think this is nice. These pearls are beautiful. Really, really nice pearls. Um, I don't know. I just, I like the very organic and larger size Baroque pearls. I think they're very pretty. And there's a nice luster on them as well. So um, we have that guy. And it's quite long. So again, nice for layering. And that's a nice piece of jewelry. Lovely. What else? What else? What else? It's a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff in here. A lot of bonus hairs. <laughs> um, this is looking like, this is just a piece of jewelry from Express. And it has a, almost like a smoky topaz or smoky quartz style pendant right there on a rosary style necklace. And that guy is looking like ex Express. So that's actually, that's not bad. That's not a bad little Express necklace. You know what I was thinking of doing? I've been seeing an increase in my sales of items priced under $20. So I was thinking about doing almost like a section of my eBay store called Cheap Thrills. 
<laughs> or some, maybe something with like a little bit more of a tactful name, um, but uh, filling it with items under $20 that are still really beautiful, really high quality or very stylish. Um, so you can purchase it. So they might be like unbranded goodies or something like that. And so you can get a really cute piece of jewelry um, without breaking the bank. And so this here, uh, again, this doesn't have any, this doesn't have any kind of branding on it, but it is kind of like that chain mail style again. And it's more of like a bib style necklace or a draping, drapery, draped necklace. Um, this one's made out of plastic, but I think this is very cute. I think it's pretty stylish. I like the look of it. And again, it's just a little bit different. So this would be something that I would put like in that section if I ever get around to it. So that's a cute little necklace. Yeah, maybe I got to work on that name. Maybe not cheap thrills. <laughs> cheap and chic. <laughs> okay. This one is another express necklace. And this one is just layered snake chains silver tone very shiny in good condition and then it's got this little um pave kind of pave bezel set little crystal right here so this is just another express necklace very shiny in great condition here cuff this is a, okay this is a vera bradley um vera bradley the handbag maker that is well known for all her, her patterned fabrics and patterned bags uh, also made jewelry and accessories and the, using the patterns from her bags and fabrics and incorporating them into her jewelry. And so I've seen, I have seen quite a bit of Vera Bradley jewelry in different iterations, like snap bracelets and cuffs and stuff like that. And this one's very nice. I think it, you know, could use a little bit of a cleaning, but it's, it's really cute. Gold tone, nicely made, um, you know, magnetic closure. So yeah, Paisley's very cute. Nice, a little Vera Bradley bracelet. How about right here? Looks like we have a pair of matching earrings. These, I don't see any kind of anything on them. They're looking very like Liz Claiborne to me or maybe even um, Ancline. Ancline, it's got, it's doing, it's giving me 80s vibes. You know, the brushed gold is always very, uh, was very popular in the 80s, so. We have these pair of like little chain link style, simple earrings there, but very pretty. Those are nice. <laughs> tangle of things, a tangle of things. Okay. Here we have another J. Crew necklace, and this one is just a rhinestone station on a long chain, and you can see it is unfortunately missing a crystal right there. So one of those, uh, one of the elongated marquee crystals. Um, so we have this little J Crew, and again, it's like on a bronze colored chain. And so we have that guy. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go right here just because it's sitting on top. And this is looking like kind of like one of those two finger rings. And this is just costume jewelry with a big fake faux onyx on there. That guy's looking like that. Gonna go right here and I have something that's magnetic and is attracting all kinds of other stuff to it so I think it's best to get rid of this guy firstly so we're not dragging jewelry everywhere and so this guy is just a oh the magnet <laughs> the magnet just came apart as I was pulling it apart from each other okay <laughs> A magnet piece just fell out. So yeah, this was kind of like a just a multi-strand here with rhinestones, and it is missing a rhinestone. And like I said, you could see that the the um, magnet portion fell out. So I mean, I could probably repair this, but again, it is missing a rhinestone. So uh, I think this is something that would probably be best utilized for crafting. What else? I'm gonna go right here. And this is kind of like a really pretty um, gold tone, brush gold tone with little bezel set rhinestones. And this guy is by Loft. And so we have just like a really pretty pastel, very feminine. Um, although it does look like this component right here is missing something because there's a little loop right at the end and um, nothing kind of hanging from there. So there probably was something additional to this necklace. Not quite sure what. But um, it's a shame because it is a pretty cute necklace, I think. I, I like the bezel set crystals. They're really cute. So, yeah. 
We have that guy, and again, you know, that is the DIY portion of things here with thread up. And so here we have a watch, and this is a rose gold, rose gold colored Kenneth Cole watch. It's got a clear crystal on it, and some Roman, the Roman numerals and the gold, and a really pretty kind of crystal bezel to it. Let's see this guy. Yep, Kenneth Cole. And is this this is a normal size? You don't find a lot of the times with the thread up stuff like this the, the watches are sized. Yeah, it's sized so small. Um, like whoever purchases it, they take out so many links, like, you know, and then it ends up being like super, super small and, and not wearable or, or kind of like sellable, quite frankly, because I mean, like, look at this it looks very super small. I mean, I'm, you know, my wrist is, I think, six and a half inches or so. It's pretty small. And this dude, it doesn't even fit me. So it's a shame because it is a really cute watch. It's definitely sharp looking. It's got that rose gold look to it. Kind of gold, you know, like decent. Um, probably would have been something that cost like maybe, you know, 50 or $60, 65, maybe even more than that originally. So we have a chemical watch. I'm going to go right here. And this is like a really pretty statement with these um, fluorescent orangey corally kind of beads. This looks very much like J. Crew, but this guy is not branded. Um, so we have this here, a little unbranded um, cute statement necklace. And right here, we had one of these earlier, and this is similar. This is, again, I think a J. Crew piece. Let's see. Yes, this is a J. Crew piece. So it's just um, a statementy kind of like rhinestone center on an antique brass looking necklace. And so that guy is looking like that. And uh, the other one was missing some rhinestones. This one looks like it is not. And so we just have this piece right here. This is a nice little statement, nice long necklace by J. Crew. And that one's looking like that. So that's in good condition. It doesn't have that uh, spring, ring, spring ring clasp that we recognize from J. Crew. This one has a lobster claw clasp, but that's nice. Not bad. Lots and lots of J. Crew. So we're just continuing on this like J. Crew here. Okay, and so this guy, just pulled out this little necklace here. This is a Lucky Brand necklace. It's very, very long. And it just has a, a little kind of dangling statementy piece right there at the bottom with a little rhinestone. It has some hanging chains there. So that guy kind of looks like that. It's like a little bit of an art deco kind of look to it, I think. And that's very cute. Although the chain does have quite a bit of wear on it. So we have a little lucky brand necklace. This is looking like another J. Crew ne another J. Clu J. Crew necklace. This one in shades of olive and citrine, faux citrine, and it is missing again a rhinestone right here. Um right here it's missing another rhinestone. So a few missing rhinestones on this. I'm seeing this rhinestone right here. This is looking like it probably goes right there. So we have one little replacement rhinestone that it presented itself. I don't know about that guy right there. So I'll have to be on the lookout for that to see if I can repair it because this is nice. It's in good condition. So a really pretty little J. Crew statement necklace. More J. Crew. I'm going to put this rhinestone aside so I don't lose it. And what else do we have here? Let's see. I'm going to go for this guy right here. This is really cute. Kind of like black fabric with um, dangling pearls and tassels. Tassels are nice and clean and shiny. And this is actually, this is another Ann Taylor piece. This one's actually really nice and really good condition. You know, I'm always, Ann Taylor jewelry goes for quite a bit of money. Like I've seen them selling jewelry, you know, over a hundred dollars, like depending on how elaborate it is, you know, like $125 bracelets for $75. And so surprising, it's so surprising to me that it doesn't really do that well on the resale market. So, um, you know, I guess maybe it's a supply and demand issue and, and there's so much maybe out there that that's what's dictating the price. But, um, you know, this is a nice piece of quality jewelry. And uh, I think this would be really pretty with office wear. I think this would be pretty for the holidays. You know, it's pretty versatile. It's nicely made. The tassels look nice and clean. And so I have this and Taylor necklace as well. That's a nice piece. Very, very nice. Um, we have here what looks like a couple of maybe homemade pieces, glass beaded bracelets. These guys right here, one with, um, you know, both with art glass beads here. 
and this one in purple and pink. So a couple of homemade bracelets, nice beads. I'll go here because these guys look like a pair. These are a really cute pair of um, chandelier statementy earrings. I'm looking really quick on the back. There's a little umbrella um, logo on there that I've not seen before. I'm not familiar, but this is really nice. This is like a really nice high quality looking earring, I think. And it feels nicely made. Um, like I said, I'm not familiar with that umbrella logo. Let me see if I can show you right there on the back. Let's focus. It's difficult to see. There, you can kind of see it there. Yeah, not sure, but these are really cute. Maybe, you know, maybe I'll probably like Google image these to see if I can pull up who the maker is on these earrings because they are very cute and they're pretty recognizable. I think that like if you photograph them, they might show up in a Google image search. So those are very, very cute. I like those a whole lot. Nice earrings. They are plasticky, um, but they're cute. Okay, let's, let's just gather everything here. What we have left, there is a lot of bits and baubles as per usual. Um, I grabbed this here and this is a, a little nutcracker pin and he's very, very cute. This is kind of, it's got rhinestone legs, very cute, looking kind of Avon-ish to me. He's got rhinestone cheeks. Oh, and he's not, he's actually Monet. So we have a little Monet nutcracker guy right there. He's cute. Lots of rhinestones on him. That's cute. He's got the red ones and the hands and the clear elongated ones and the leg. Very, very cute. Monet. That's um, a curveball. There's been like really no vintage in here. So that's a little bit surprising. So it's mostly been like uh, contemporary brands. I do have this. These are really cool. These are like these kind of oxidated leaf earrings. I really, really like them. I think they're really unique. I love the organic kind of aspect to them. Like they, these look like very real to me. Um, you can kind of see like the veining in them. I don't know. There's something about them that I think is really beautiful and perfect for fall and winter. So these are really pretty. They appear to be artisan made. I love the variation too in the, um, maybe it's a spray paint that they might have utilized, but you can see there's like golds and coppers and yellows. And so I think these are very neat. Um, definitely, I think artisan because you can kind of see some of the puddling from the solder on the back, but I like them a lot and I'm not seeing any kind of maker on them, but I think these are beautiful, really different. Nice. I like those. That's cool. Very different. Um, let's see here. I have, this is a 1928 brand Aurora Borealis crystal and faux pearl necklace, just kind of like rosary beaded style there. Let's focus up. So we have that little 1928 jewelry necklace. Here I have a pair of um, kind of sparkly faceted hoop earrings. And this is the brand Cara New York, which is a relatively inexpensive brand that's typically sold at like Marshalls, I want to say. So we have those, but they're very sparkly and very versatile. I think I have another watch here. And this guy is just a, a classic kind of Seiko watch and um Seiko I would say probably like you know around that like 49 to 55 65 dollar price point this looks like a women's watch um looking like that on the back again Seiko not a huge kind of deal good deal of um resale value there but regardless that's what that looks like and I don't know, we'll see. I'll have to like look it up and look up this model and see how it's selling, you know, and see if whether or not I wanna maybe pop a new battery in it. It looks, this one, I have a little watch battery kit I bought off of Amazon. Um, the back on this looks like it's very easy to do that. Okay, here I have, this looks like a little Brighton necklace. Yes, got the Brighton V. And this is just, uh, you know, the silver plated Brighton jewelry. And it, unfortunately, this one does have like a lot of wear to it. And it says on here, um, forever friends. So this is like a friendship necklace from Brighton. But again, this one's definitely seen better days on it. I mean, the clasp is good, but there's a little kind of like corrosion occurring on the plating there. Brighton jewelry is like so expensive and it always surprises me. Like it doesn't really wear that well. I've, you know, it does, it's plated. So 
I've seen how it kind of wears. And so this is another actually piece of Brighton jewelry here. This one, and see this one conversely, I think looks very, very nice. It's nice and shiny and um, it looks like it's in great condition. And so this one looks like a breast cancer awareness um, type of, of bracelet. This is pretty. It's the multi strand and it just has like lots of crystals there. Really, really pretty and a nice oversized uh, lobster claw clasp there. So that's actually very nice. This is nice. This was this one I will definitely resell. I think this is a nice looking Brighton piece and um, I do like that it's breast cancer awareness. So very, very cute there. It's too bad I didn't open this when I got this bag. Because <laughs> October was breast cancer awareness month. Um, let's see what else we have here. I have a little um, silver tone toggle bracelet here and this one with a little peace symbol and this is looking like lucky jewelry. So like a little, ooh, there's so much hair in here. Another piece of hair over there. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> not my hair. It's not mine. Um, so we have here just a little lucky bracelet with um, a peace symbol and rhinestone. It looks like it's missing another component here. There's a little end cap for something there that should have been there, but is not. So um, yes, we have that. Um, too bad because lucky does sell really well for me. Continues to sell well for me. See, what else do we have here? This is interesting. This is kind of like one of those little um, inlaid stone man-made pieces that kind of came out of the Philippines. Um, I've seen these before. It does look like it is on a sterling silver chain. The chain is very tarnished. But it does look like silver, yeah. So I'll see. I'll see if I can um, clean this chain up. And so that guy just looks like that. It's cute, sweet. It's got that little flower, a little bit of um, mother of pearl there as well. You can see it flashing. So that's a nice little sterling silver piece. I think that's the first, right, first little sterling piece we've seen here. Mostly been all contemporary brands. Pair of matching earrings here, just again, costume jewelry, silver tone. We've got those. I'm trying to just detangle over here. I have, let's see what else. I have this gold tone little necklace here, and it just has a little like faux turquoise dangles. And I'm looking here, this is looking like this is Italy 925. Okay, so. I guess, again, maybe some of the goodies hiding towards the end of the bag. And this is just a little sterling silver, very dainty and delicate with some um, turquoise or faux turquoise bezel set cabochons here. And that guy's looking like that. So that's a really delicate little sterling silver necklace there. That's not too bad. And I also pulled out over here. It's a little tangly very tangly I think we're gonna skip that because it is I don't know if that's a cause I'm gonna be able to get behind folks <laughs> I don't know if I can solve these problems while we're here okay I do have this um, long kind of gold tone toggle um, necklace here and it has some faceted this is actually very pretty faceted crystals at the end um, very very sparkly and that guy's looking like that. This is nice. Trying to see here. This is also a little bit tangled. But it is a cute piece of jewelry. I'll try to get in there for you guys. You can see the um, station. The toggle just goes in the middle and all of those crystals dangle. And they're all kind of like smoky, quartz looking kind of crystals. Really, really cute. Um, no brand on that, but that's a nice piece of jewelry. Also, that came flying out. I had a little piece of um, Disney jewelry here. Just a little Disney Mickey Mouse ear kind of crystal looking piece there. And so we have that. Let's see what else we have left here. So like I said, lots of bits and baubles. What is this? Let's see this. This is a exceptionally long uh, rhinestone rhinestone chain it's just very very small rhinestones and it's banana republic and so very very long kind of like looking like that very pretty though because this is nice you layer it up and you can double it up and that's banana republic so this this gold tone rhinestone long necklace here that's very nice as well
what we have left. We're looking like we're having some, we have some that looks, this looks like bright in for the pair of earrings here, I think, maybe, possibly. Looking for the pairs while I detangle over here as well. We just had one of these like little junky bangles too. Um, very tangly rose gold kind of dangle necklace here too. This one's very tangled, so I'll need to untangle that, but no branding on that. Just a little piece of costume jewelry. And what else is going on over here? Let's see. Here is where we're at, folks. This is what we have left. I'm just looking for pairs. Here we go. And this. Okay. So here's what we have left. I'm gonna push all the single, all the singles and all the um little bits aside, all the pearls. There's loose pearls and whatnot. We have a little pair of like brass rhinestone earrings right there, a little French hook. Those are very cute. I have these long gold tone. Looking on the back, I'm not seeing any kind of maker on these, but seeing these quite a bit. Gold tone flower, rhinestone earrings, those are looking like that. I feel like I just had something very similar in another box. I have a little rhinestone bunny pin. This guy's very, very cute. It's like it would be Avon, but I'm not seeing anything on there, but he's cute. A little bunny pin. Like him. I have this gold tone little crystal teddy bear necklace and he's got very shiny crystals there he's kind of looking very swarovski ish to me but i don't think the quality of the chain is there so we just have a little crystal bear right there a little necklace this is looking like kind of like a tree of lifestyle silver pendant that's kind of looking like sterling silver to me let's see yeah i think that's sterling so that's actually nice. It's very long. I mean, very long, very large. So a nice little sterling silver pendant there. And is, uh, if this is, I don't think this is, no, I don't think that's silver, but it's very pretty. That's a nice chain. And a plain little chain right here. That was part of that. Let's see what else. This dude, this is looking like a little sterling silver herringbone bracelet that we had right at the bottom as well. Could be plated let's see it does, it does have something on it i think it's plated i think this is plated so a little some silver plated herringbone bracelet this guy we looked at and here we have a pair of um tahari crystal bezel set um earrings right here so we have a little pair of tahari earrings not too bad and these guys are hoop earrings with a Reversible heart bent, uh, pendant, and these to me are looking very uh, Brighton. I'm fairly certain these are Brighton. Brighton doesn't mark their earrings. Um, so that we have there, and that looks like it's also missing a rhinestone. So that's unfortunate. This looks like a silver pendant. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, that looks like silver as well. These look like oh, costume. And that's everything, folks. Okay, so let's go through um, what we've got. I'm seeing some marks on this. Let me see. That's what we've got. It was a lot of contemporary. This is just says FAS on it, Sterling 925. A lot of contemporary jewelry, which I'm totally okay with. And let's like recap on what we liked, what was good. Um, I mean, I do like all of this contemporary brands. These, uh, this J. Crew like Pave rhinestone bracelet right there is fabulous. Like for the holidays, I did like this like enamel and rhinestone linked. J. Crew necklace that was good as well. Um, all of these J. Crew pieces, you know, I will definitely list and hopefully sell. I like the Vera Bradley cuff, um, that was definitely cute. We'll put that right there. What else did we have here? Just lots of lots and lots of J. Crew, um, J. J. Crew faux pearl, kind of like champagne y taupey faux pearls right there. I did like these um, artisan earrings, these look like artisan made. Earrings right here. Let's put these dudes over there. Those were nice. I like the uh, Brighton Breast Cancer Awareness 
bracelet right here with the crystal heart. That was very pretty. I like this sterling silver contemporary gold kind of ring from the beginning of the video. That was good. What else? I'm trying to make sure we got everything here. I always forget something. I'm sure I will forget something. Um, the, this little Monet Nutcracker dude, he was really cute. He's great for the holidays. Very, very sweet. Um, the Sterling Silver Tree of Life pin um, pendant, that's very nice. These little Brighton earrings that we saw at the end, uh, those are nice. We have a little bit of Sterling Silver right um, here and there, that little Sterling Silver pendant. Um, these Tahari earrings were okay. And so, yeah, I think this, I'm very, very happy with this. I think this was a great um, thread out box. I wish this was a little bit larger, but it's very, very small. We'll have to see what I end up doing with that Kenneth Cole watch. Overall, some great pieces. Um, oh yeah, I like this Sea Wonder enamel kind of like faux Hermes looking kind of thing. Um, I think that's really fun too. I like Sea Wonder. Nice quality. And so I'm ha very, very, very happy with this box. I think, you know, it was all filled with contemporary pieces, which I don't have any kind of problem with whatsoever. All of these brands tend to sell for me. Um, and so I think I'll do well here. I think I'll make my money back for sure. So yeah, I really appreciate you guys hanging with me on this fine weekend and um, checking out this jewelry with me. I think it was a really fun one. Let me know what you think. These boxes, um, I know people are always asking me kind of like, how do you get them? They're kind of impossible to get. Like they just randomly pop up and you have to be there. It's kind of like being there at the right time and the right place, um, you know, to kind of find them and jump on them when they become available. Available and that's it because uh, ThreadUp doesn't sell jewelry anymore. So I don't think they have as much inventory as they once did. So yeah, that's everything guys. Give me a like on the way out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you're notified of my videos and whatnot. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye.